before you start this video, I would like you guys to hit that like button and share this video. By doing so, you help this video move through the algorithm. Whatever you do and wherever you go, you have to take the practice with you. There's people who leave their native land and they travel to foreign countries. Some people may leave Cuba. Some people may leave Haiti. Some people may leave Dominican Republic. And they have a tradition that they practice and because they move to foreign countries they're not able to practice their religion in a traditional manner that they were used to i'm gonna say this to you wherever you are in vodou wherever you are in uh, santaria wherever you are in palo mayombe you have to adapt to your circumstances see a lot of people think that it's over i'm not going to be able to practice i know paleros that would send money to their family to feed their ingangas while they were living in the United States. Some people find means in Vodou to do things differently. I remember there was a family member here that was accused of animal brutality. The cops came, they didn't see nothing. But certain practices had to adapt. Certain things you do in Haiti, you can't do that in America. So you may have to make modifications. I know some people that are incarcerated. They ask me all the time, how do I do this? How do I do that? Now that I'm locked up, they serve you food, right? You can sing songs give apples you can make offerings you may not have access to the luxurious things that you had in the outside world but you have access to things that can help you spiritually this is a common error that people make they feel as though because they're not able to practice the way they did when they were home they can't practice abroad you have to adapt to your circumstance and wherever you go, you have to take the practice with you.